So could you speak about the work of Ive? Ive Kahraman, yes. Uh, Ive Kahraman uh, is a Kurdish Iraqi art. About her work or about herself a little bit? No, about her yeah. work, it's good. So um, this piece is from a recent series that she did called Not Quite Human. And in it, you know, as always, she has the protagonist, which is always the female. And in these pieces, she's put the female in these sort of contortionist, almost like disobedient positions. So sort of taking what is considered, let's say, an obedient subject and having, and taking what is considered an obedient subject and creating this, this uh, image of disobedience, right? putting them in these positions of disobedience. So they kind of also even lose maybe their humanness. But is it allowed here? Is this piece allowed here? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or to is this, behave like is, that? Is this so strangely? Perhaps, perhaps in private it's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you probably will not see many women in this position in public in, in the UAE, but I, probably not even anywhere else. But yeah, I mean, I think this is what the question that it raises also. But also for Habe, it's also questioning the otherness factor, like her feeling always um, a, a, as a person who doesn't belong to uh, the culture where she was necessarily living because she was Iraqi, she grew up in Sweden. So I think it also refers to that and also then being a woman and within a society as well. So it's, it's really on many levels. Okay. Yeah. And now she's represented by several uh, galleries, right? Right. After yes. you? Yes. yes. So you began? Yes, we began our journey. Um, I think I have to check, double check, but I believe it was either 2008 or 2009 when we first uh, were introduced to Hive's work or discovered Hive's work. Uh, how, how did you discover it? I came across her work. I think someone had sent me uh, something or maybe she had even contacted the gallery. It was very early days. We opened the gallery in 2005. And at that point we were still looking for artists because we work with contemporary Middle Eastern artists. So we were still sort of doing a lot of uh, searching and looking and I think I believe that she had sent us something or either we had seen a show with one of her works in it and at that time she was making um, these very like intricate and fine works on paper um, which she still does today and we reached out we were able to connect with her and that's how it started and how is it going now into Dubai in terms of business well I mean it has been a, definitely a challenging year. I mean, I think the art world in general was affected and we think we all were affected. I feel it in the last few months, it's beginning to have an energy again and things are slowly coming back, but still slowly. But, but there's a lot of foreigners coming here. That's really, yeah, and that's quite encouraging. I mean, we had that already from, from Christmas time. We had uh, many people that came for the holidays. I mean, Dubai has done a fantastic job of keeping everything So it very helps safe. you more than anyone, right? I mean, I hope, I hope that everyone else is also being helped and that they can continue to do what they do. But it was very, very difficult at the beginning because it was very quiet. It was, I mean, we, the lockdown here was quite severe at the beginning. And I think that probably helped to maintain, you know, to allow us to be safer sooner. Merci.